Hey, hello, welcome to another video. Apologies in advance for how Lee sounds. He's far away. <laughs> far away. Far away. <laughs> now, do you remember a couple of weeks ago when we did a video on old American politicians being old and decrepit? Yes, I Specifically, do remember Mitch McConnell. Yeah. And um, Glitch Red McConnell. Scott. Yes. Glitch McConnell, yes. Yes, Glitch McConnell. Because the internet can be cruel. After he had that like aneurysm or that freeze up or whatever the hell it was that happened. Uh, he's done it again. So. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Somebody uh, <laughs> somebody needs to make that man go home and lie down. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we have the, the, the video. Let me just. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? <laughs> about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's right. And there he goes. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? He's like, did you yeah, hear the question? Just... Did you hear the question? Yep. But then they said, what are your thoughts on running in 2026? And he thought, that's such a stupid fucking question. I'm not even going to answer it. I'm just going to stand here. <laughs> Baby, I'm not even going to be alive in 2026. <laughs> yeah. I won't be alive then. <laughs> all right i'm sorry you all we're gonna need a minute hello just give up man I shouldn't laugh but fucking hell i know this is literally like okay i mean okay what are your yeah okay let's go again <laughs> so yeah it happened again um and yeah, I mean, the fact that the question was we'd be running for re-election in 2026 like no, no. does that answer your question me yeah. having an aneurysm and shitting myself on stage uh, i kind of wish you just slowly sort of just laid down on the floor <laughs> just curled <laughs> up in like the field position and just lay it just went asleep like so I just want to be at home. Is his wife still around? Is she like pushing him out the door every day? Like, go and fucking work. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's he's married. Um, she is. I'll tell you. So he's eighty-one years old. Right. She is. Oh my god, this fuck it. She's seventy. She's seventy. You dirty dog, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> but like we said That's last it. time. Like, why the fuck does he just retire? He's got the money. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, it's not. Yeah, he's already loaded. Deep. Doesn't need to make any more. You can't take it with you, Mitch. No. <laughs> He'll try. Just be buried with all of his millions. Probably. <laughs> like Scrooge ever... McDuck. <laughs> the other thing I was thinking. Obviously, everyone's like uh, the Mitch McConnell camp has been very kind of quiet about it. They're not really saying what it was. Hoping that nobody noticed. <laughs> yeah, sure. But surely, like. <laughs> It's not just sort of, I guess, like the opposition, the, the Democrats are jumping on this. Surely this is like bad for everyone, including well, like yeah. Republicans and like the lobbyists who... It's, it's, who... It's, not, it's not a good look having a man who's clearly like feeling the effects of his advanced age uh, yeah. and shouldn't really be doing this, shouldn't be stepping up to these podiums and, and everything else. Like, it can't, like, just retire, man. I mean, like, what does, what, what's, what harm can it do? What, what are you hanging on for? What's, what's keeping you there? Is that, yeah, exactly. Even the people in his own team and on his own side must be just like, dude, mentally, you are a plate of mashed potatoes. You're not <laughs> helping us. This, this, this doesn't serve anyone any fucking yeah. good uh, i mean if that was somebody's like well it probably is somebody's like grandparent you'd be like oh there he goes again like the dinner table or something somewhere where you could look after him not like at a press conference and shit but yeah, it's exactly. just bizarre and who are these fucking people propping him up these aides oh, I, mean, I don't know surely no. they have to like say mitch we can't keep coming to your aid every time you get asked a yeah. boring question it's Time to go home and just lie down. Uh, Joe Biden commented on it. There's a video of that. Did he? Did he yeah. string a sentence together? Did he? Yeah. By the way, I, uh, I I just heard literally coming out, and uh, Mitch is a friend, as you know, not a joke. We, we always, you know, people don't believe that the case, but we. You're right. I don't believe it. Disagreements politically, right. but he's a good friend, and. So I'm going to try to get in touch with him uh, later this afternoon. I don't know enough to know. Can you imagine that phone call? Uh, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Mitch. Are you Mitch. there? <laughs> Come on, look alive, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch McConnell's at the other end. I think it's Jack Kennedy, dear. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, maybe they are friends because they're both old as fuck. And yeah. I guess they're, they've known each other for a long time. Yeah. Like, and I guess, you know, you will, or well, some of us will, uh, you know, get to a certain age where there aren't that many people to hang out with in your own age group because they're all fucking dead. <laughs> so, they're, they're, they're friends from work. Work colleagues have been for like yeah, work, work fucking years. Work just, BFFs. They reminisce about Rita Hayworth and polio. <laughs> Mitch, is, uh, Mitch is Joe's work wife. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, man, just fucking retire. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why they, yeah, I, I don't know what it is that's making them all hang on for so long. Like, I mean, I mean we, we've got the old, like, uh, the old politicians and stuff, but they're generally like, um, not that fucking old. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Well, most of yeah, most of the main politicians aren't that that, that old, really. All the people in actual power. And then you've got like, uh, what, what's the other one? They, there's there's two rooms, isn't there? There's the House of Commons and the House of uh, House of Lords. Something else. House of Lords. That's it. Once they get to a certain age, you kind of just push them to the House of Lords and go. There you go. That's right. Yeah. There. <laughs> yeah, you'll still make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, don't get it. It's just weird. But uh, yeah, him and Biden are both in their eighties. I mean, Trump's in his seventies. Is he saying Trump's in his seventies? Getting arrested. They're all shot <laughs> to bits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was going to be? Who's going to be the last? If it's like him and Biden are such good friends, who's going to be the last one left? And what are they going to do when the other one goes? Well, I don't know. Like... I mean, are they being are they being replaced by younger politicians at all? Or are they just like do they once What's they he... die they're like. Well, He's if, gone now because he's been around since like America was born. <laughs> this is it. Somebody was saying they should. Um, you know, obviously, presidents can run for two terms, eight years. Um, mm. Senators, I don't think there's any. If you get elected, you're in. It doesn't matter. You can go forever, I guess, until you literally drop dead on the floor. Yeah, I guess so. Well, yeah, I know. He, 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 Mitch McConnell's been there. Nobody's turned around that new young upstart, Mitch McConnell, like coming in. <laughs> changing no. everything yeah still there's like no actual comment on what the fuck is wrong with him oh i do have video um doctors react after senator mitch mcconnell appears to freeze uh this is from who is this from wlwt whoever the fuck that is hang on a second here another scary moment for senate minority leader mitch mcconnell the 81 year old freezing up again at an event in covington this time in front of our cameras thank you for joining us at 10 i'm chris jacobs mcconnell was in town to participate in a northern kentucky chamber of commerce forum he was answering questions from reporters around one this afternoon now several minutes into the questions this happened all right i'm sorry you all we're gonna need a minute sorry he just looks it is the <laughs> I, I sharted face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, Safety was off. He, he's got one of those mouse that look like it comes up like this, like a Muppet. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the computer. Hum, hum, hum. <laughs> those ones, yeah. Oh, dear. Just, okay. Just well, then McConnell's down, aides mate. come to his side yeah. to check on him as he tries to take... Yeah more questions he mumbles for a bit when asked about daniel cameron and when asked about former president trump he said he doesn't want to comment after that his staff escorts him outside a short time later his staff said senator mcconnell felt lightheaded and had to stop speaking now senate minority leader mitch Mc maybe it's an acid trip an acid flashback <laughs> was he part of mk that, ultra could have been that picture in the background i've got like a picture of him when he was young when he was only like 70 odd he was like younger. <laughs> and he was still a young upstart. When he said I control over his face. McConnell's latest public episode is raising questions about his health. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer joins us with how some doctors are evaluating this whole situation, Rachel. They are. This is a really scary situation. Senate, Senator McConnell was delivering remarks in Covington at the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce when that episode happened. Doctors we spoke with have not treated the 81-year-old Senate minority leader, but say what they saw is concerning. Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell is back in the spotlight. I'm sorry, I had a hard time hearing you. The Senate minority... Yeah, that's, what, that's I couldn't hear you. 
<laughs> it's your fault. You need to speak up, lad. <laughs> I always do that as well. If I can't hear somebody, I just shut the fuck up and stand this as still as I possibly can, just in case, just so the, the sounds can filter in. Yeah. It's not till they say, are you okay? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. It's you being quiet. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm just, just waiting for him to repeat his question. <laughs> like, <laughs> silently. <laughs> Party leaders really? struggling to answer questions from reporters in Covington this afternoon. What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's what it is. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a sad watch. Yeah, I think what's concerning about this is that in a short period of time, he's had multiple episodes. Last month, McConnell paused in a similar scenario at the U.S. Capitol in Washington. <laughs> for neurosurgeon Dr. John Bookvar, this is a cause for concern. Uh, I think as Americans, we care very deeply for our leadership, regardless of, of mm. you know political inclination. And I, I think it's time for him to get um, a serious medical workup. Dr. Bill Petrie, a physician with the University of Virginia Medical Center, Petrie. agrees. The of the Petrie Petrie. Is. <laughs> <laughs> that is an egghead. <laughs> it's happened to someone you, to you or someone you know or love. Yeah, that this is a reason to get checked out. And I'm, I'm sure that, that Senator McConnell is, is getting the very best in medical care. McConnell's office responded to the episode, saying he was lightheaded when he was taking questions and was feeling fine afterwards. His brain when, and his body. He went is skateboarding done. the day after. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely fine. <laughs> yep, did a backflip, chugged a beer, yep. and ran home. <laughs> him and us something, and I would just encourage him to get a full, you know, medical workup, including cardiac and neurological ASAP. McConnell's team also said he will be consulting a physician before the next event that he's scheduled to attend. Doctors we spoke with say you should get checked out if this happens to you. Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5. All right. Well, I mean, they're, <laughs> I don't mind a physician seeing to you know, a fucking brain scan. They will. He will be seeing a physician before his next uh, event that he's due to attend which is a 24 hour trampolining <laughs> so yeah it's uh oof, looking pretty rough for old mitch i just you know get some help mitch because we love you yeah <laughs> americans, love, americans love their uh their leadership yeah someone loves that man so uh, hopefully <laughs> he gets the help he needs and just fucking retire 81 yeah. I don't even, what's the retirement age here now? 66, 67? I don't know. I'm retiring Depends the moment. Depends on if you can, can afford to or not, really. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and that motherfucker definitely can. 